Yo, peace and love, guys. I'm back the next day with another video. I did not plan on making another video, but because of the sneaker, you've seen the thumbnail and the title, you know what it is. I had to make another video while I had the shoe. So before we get into this, you know, I love you guys. I don't have to say I don't condone the sneakers and all that crap because it's a retail pair of unions. And shout out to my guy, Corey Ard, for bringing these to me. Um, he didn't have to do this. This lucky guy actually hit on two pairs of size eights and he was nice enough to swing these through. He's always bringing all the retail heat to me. So when I get these eights, it's coming from him. Check him out on IG. He's a wonderful artist, super talented, and I really do appreciate him always bringing me the heat. He's the one that crushed my soul with those biohacks too last weekend on the live. But anyway, so yeah, here, here it is, guys. Here's the bottom of the box. Um, you know, I'm, I'm really like hurt right now because I wish I had a pair, like really wish I had a pair. And the UA pairs out there, they just don't look right. And I'm gonna show you what I see. So here's the label. You guys do whatever you want with that. They were 250, size eight. What does that say? Guava, ice, light fusion, red. Look how beautiful the box is, man. You got Mike's head there, which is interesting. I, I think that might be when I don't think that was when he won a championship because for one, he had hair. And for two, he has those gold chains on like he was in a slam dunk competition. So I'm not sure about that. But there they are, guys. A retail pair of unions. And this is a great video to compare your UAs, to compare a pair that you might have got for a consignment shop, whatever. Here is a retail pair for you to compare from. And you know I wasn't able to stick my foot in here for the on foot, nor did I want to do that to a shoe i probably could have squeezed in you know what I'm i probably could have squeezed into the little eight and curled my toes up but i i couldn't do them like that so it looks like it's two sides of this paper they just kind of mimicked it i almost like the old paper from the ones a little better but hey that's a dope touch got the ydm sticker right there these things are smooth dude and before we keep going i just wanted to pause for a second to give you guys a little bit of history on union itself so this guy named James Jebia, James Jebia, he's a New York City guy. He founded Union in 1989 before he founded Supreme in 1994. The store became one of the first outlets for streetwear culture that kind of mixed in with skateboarding. And then Chris Gibbs bought Union in 2008, and that's the guy that made the Union 1s and so forth, and he made this beautiful pair of Union 4s. So just off first glance for me, Pulling these out the box. This is already a strong runner up for sneaker of the year for me. And I really do need my size because you see that area right here. That's what they always get wrong on UAs. That little rubber piece to the stitching that goes around that yellowish piece. It's, it's just something that's too wide. I always see it. They also made this kind of mistake on the off white fours. And here's an actual QC picture of what I'm talking about see that but the interesting thing is if you look at DJ Clark Kent who is highly credible in the sneaker game he has that big space there and I don't know if it's because he wears like a size 13 or 14 and the size that I have in my hand is a size 8 but if you look on stock X they have the same type of photo that looks like this retail pair I have in my hand so you guys be the judge I'm, I'm just not sure yet I'd like to see what a size 10 looks like so Chris Gibbs, the designer, he said he wanted to make the toe box like no other Air Jordan 4. And the top down view, which you can see right here, is his favorite sneaker view. Oh, look at the bottoms. Those bottoms are just so, oh my God. Anyway, he wanted to make a silhouette that was different than the, the OG Jordan 4. You have the visible air bubble there. I like how he threw orange in there too. That's very beautiful. I'm loving the back that's blue. I mean, look at that little cut though. Look at the cut there at the bottom. That, that's interesting, QC. I mean, I don't know if that's good craftsmanship or not. I'm just trying to pick out things while I have these. Jumpman looks beautiful. Nice little tag on there from the fours as well. They have like the reddish upper. Man, these are just beautiful. I mean, let me go in the insides. Now the tongue on the Jordan 4, any Jordan 4 on the back of it, it says Air Jordan. And Chris was a guy that was actually flipping that tongue and tying it down 
on his Jordan 4s back in the day. So you can see the Air Jordan in the front just like that. So that's when he decided to just stitch it down on this sneaker. And I thought that was a brilliant idea. I would love to unstitch it for you guys, but you know, Corey's not going to have that. Even though he's getting two pairs, but anyway. That's where you would unstitch them. And, okay, you got Union in the insole. That's a dope touch. I mean, the whole sneaker's dope. You got those yellow laces. I would love to see how these look with yellow laces. I've yet to see that. But I need someone to put these in and just kind of see how those go. Because the yellow laces looked amazing in both pair of the Union ones. So, I mean, here you go, guys. Compare your retails to these. Compare your replicas to these. Compare your UAs, whatever you want to call them. Here's a comparison video. Maybe I'll get a pair down the line. I don't know if I'll get a retail pair, but maybe I'll get a gifted pair to me. I'm not sure, but they have to be right. They have to look like this. So UA guys, if you're out there watching this video, please reference this. On feed time. are at Nailman Studios. I didn't even plan on doing this faux on feet thing that I'm doing, but we were filming something else. I brought the fours over so Nailman can see him in person. One thing led to another, and I felt you guys deserve to see these kind of, you know, not in the observatory room. So here you go. What's going on guys i didn't talk in the on foot because i just didn't so here i am this is editing colo retail baby peace 